Hey guys, it's Jack from Rethink Tech, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to calibrate your printer for the first time, and also, I'm going to show you how to print your first print on your new 3D printer. So the first thing you get used to on your printer is the menus and the settings. So most RepRap Prusa i3 printers and most other 3D printers in the market come with an LCD screen that helps a lot with navigating the menus, changing settings on your, on your printer, looking up data, info, and basically it makes it so much easier to use your 3D printer. So if you go through the settings here, the front page tells you the temperature of the hot end, the temperature of the bed, the position of the X, Y, and Z axis, the flow rate, when the SD card is plugged in it tells you the percentage of the print, and this tells you how much time has passed, and this notifies you when the printer is ready, when there's an error, and it basically shows you information that you will need when using your 3D printer. So if we, if we click the button, the first menu is the info screen, which is the front screen if you go back there. So the first page is the prepare page, and it's the page that you will probably be using most. So if we open up that page, there's main, which goes back, disable steppers. So when the motors are stiff and are not turning, you click disable steppers and they will allow you to move the X, Y, and Z axes with your hands. The next thing is auto home. So this you will use to calibrate your printer for the first time and you should probably do it after and before every single print to make sure your printer is working properly when you use it. Preheat PLA and preheat ABS. You, you can click these two and it preheats your printer to the exact temperature to print PLA and ABS. The cooldown settings when something's wrong with your printer or you just want to cool down your printer so you can shut it off safely. Switch power off, switches the power of the printer off so you don't have to unplug it, move axis. This setting will allow you to move every single axis. If you click on it, it will allow you to move the X, Y, Z, and extruder motor. So that wraps up the prepare screen, which is a screen that you will probably be using most often. So the next page is the control page. If you click this, the first setting is temperature. Now this shows you the nozzle temperature, the bed temperature, the fan speed, the auto temperature is off right now, so you should probably leave that off too. The min temperature for PLA, and max temperature for PLA, and other settings. So if we go back, there's the motion setting. So this just is another page of general settings that your printer keeps, that if you want to change, you can but I recommend just keeping it as the defaults. This is restore failsafe. Now this will basically factory reset your printer settings just like it was when you got it out of the box. The last setting on the main page is print from SD card. So if you have an SD card plugged in, like I do, you click print from SD card and it shows you all of your 3D printing models that you have loaded onto your SD card that your printer could print. So that wraps up the settings and the control panel. So now let's get into calibrating your 3D printer. So if you have a 3D printer or you're considering getting one, you should probably consider to calibrate your printer every time before you print. And also the first print you definitely have to calibrate because it will affect the quality of your first print and every print after. So the first thing you should do is auto home your 3D printer. So I'll do that right now. So it's going to home the y-axis, the x-axis, and z-axis. So when it's homing the z-axis, if it gets too close or touches the build plate, you can always hit the button right here on the side. So I'm going to let this finish, and it should get pretty close to the build plate, but not touch it, just like that. So now my 3D printer is homed. And now it should be super close to the build plate, but not touching it. So what I have here is a sticky note, or you can use a print piece of printer paper. And I use this to calibrate my printer height, my Z height. So this paper is exactly 0.1 millimeters, which is, which is what you want when calibrating your printer. So you should stick it under your nozzle, and you should feel it rubbing slightly. You don't want the nozzle to be digging into the paper, 
because then the first layer and every other layer you're printing will be smushed together and, will not, and the, your print will not look right. So this is pretty good. It's rubbing slightly. So now I'm gonna move the head over to, to the right side and stick under again. If I, if I feel that it's pretty much the same resistance as the other side, I'm gonna go ahead and back the build plate up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this again in all four corners. So that seems pretty good. But if I did need to adjust one of the corners, I can turn the screw on the build plate in the back. So you should probably do that before every print and definitely before your first print. So what I recommend is buying yourself a roll of filament off of Amazon or any 3D printer website and make sure it's a nice high quality roll because the filament that comes with your 3D printer, if you get a free roll, is probably not the best quality and will jam and clog your nozzle. So for the first print, you should probably use a higher quality grade filament. So, I keep my filament in a plastic bag with silica packets so moisture does not get inside the bag and wear out the filament. So if I open up this bag, I'm going to take out my filament. And so I'm going to put it on the stand. next step is I'm going to feed it into my Bowden feeder. If you have a direct feed model, you can put it directly into the hot end. And it's going to go all the way down into the extruder. But when you feel it stop, pull it out just about one inch until you heat up your extruder head. So right now, I'm going to go ahead and heat up my 3D printer. So I'm gonna go into the main menu, I'm gonna, I'm gonna click preheat PLA, preheat PLA1, and it should automatically preheat the nozzle to 180 degrees as I set it, and the bed to 70 degrees as I also set it to. So this should take about two minutes. Okay, so now the printer is heated up. The head is at 180 degrees Celsius, and the bed is at 70 degrees Celsius. So now I'm going to go ahead and push the filament all the way down into the nozzle. And if you move it, it should form a little glob. I can take that off. So now I'm ready to print. So I'm going to go ahead, click it once, go down to print from SD, and I'm going to print just a quick nut and bolt. So it's going to say heating up. It should say that. Wait a couple seconds and it should start printing. So when it prints, it's going to automatically auto home right now. It's going to auto the Y, X, and Z. Go up, down, and start printing. So it should take a few seconds for it to adhere the first layer. And if you do see that it's not sticking correctly, you should stop it and fix the problem and start it over again. Because you don't want to waste filament and time printing out something that's not going to work or look correct. Alright guys, so thank you for watching this video. My name is Jack with Rethink Tech. Thank you for subscribing and liking this video. Please comment down below. I'll make sure to read every single comment and answer if you have any questions. Thank you guys and see you in the next video.